God will test your knowledge of Scripture. The Word will test you. Why? You will face trials and tribulations and difficulties where you will have to rely on the promises. Things will hit you hard and there will be nowhere else to go but the Bible. That's called the Word test. In other words, suddenly uh, uh, disastrous things happen. Um, uh, suddenly you are persecuted or you are tried by your family or neglected by your parents or uh, accused uh, falsely and what you got to do uh, and this only place to go God will see where will they go when these troubles begin will they go away from me or will they come closer to me That's what happened to me. God called me. God called me, ladies and gentlemen, when I was 11 years of age. Nothing happened till I was 19. And then I got saved and my parents rejected me. My own father sent me to a psychiatrist because he, th he thought I lost my mind. My family persecuted me and my sister Rose will tell you that's what happened but in those painful three years that I went through with my family I had no place to go to but the word I had to see what the Bible said about my condition situation troubles trials that's called the word test suddenly you dig into the word because there's no place else to dig you look to the scriptures because there's no place else to look. I started reading this word when I got saved. I began to study it. God is my witness. I have diaries that I can show you that Michael saw. Where I, was, I would write what God taught me when I was 19 years old. I still have them. Rich material. You don't think all this preaching out of me comes because I read books. Dear God in heaven, I've read the Bible many times. I go through this book at least, at least twice a year. When I read the Bible, it's, it's, it's the simplest thing for me now. Because I've read and reread and reread and reread and reread. And I don't believe in jumping to places. I just read right through. Once I'm done, I go right back and start all over again. What else is there to go to but the Bible? But I started when I was a young man. The church that was built in Orlando, 10,000 people. Why do you think they came? Because I sang hallelujah? They came because of the word. God will put you through a season where the word is the only place you can turn to. Now the Bible tells me in Psalm 105 verse 17 and through 19 please would you read that for me that Joseph when he was sitting in that prison the Word of God tested him in other words he had to rely on the promises that God gave Amen. verse 17 someone 105 please he sent a man before them even Joseph who was a was sold for a servant in other words he had trials troubles keep going whose feet they hurt with fetters he was laid in iron until the time that his word came his word the word of God had to come to him he had to rely upon the promises keep going the word of the Lord tried him that's it in other words the word of God became his only source he had to lean only on the Bible so God watches and says all right will they lean on the word or lean upon other things now, the Bible tells me, and I'm going to say something here. This is not easy to say, but I'm going to say it. God gives Adam the office, but Eve the influence over the office. So God says to him, don't touch the fruit. And she says, eat. And he obeys her rather than God. Because what God gave women is the most powerful weapon for the kingdom or against the kingdom 
It's called influence. The greatest preachers have wives that support them. But the minute they lose the support of the wife, they'll fall apart. The price is paid by the one who travels and the one at home. When Billy Graham traveled, Ruth said, I'll pay the price to raise the children. To back you up if you're gone for months at a time. I asked Oral Roberts only days ago, I said, how often did you see Evelyn? He said, when I had my crusades, I'd be gone at times for three weeks. He said, Evelyn had to raise the children. He said, she would come for a day or two and go back. He said, without Evelyn, I would not have survived. I said, now, Doc, and I asked him this. I said, I want you to, uh, uh, to tell me, did she ever complain? He said, never. Did she ever uh, uh, make your life difficult? Never. For she said to him before they were married, I'll pay the price with you. Wow. That's why Oro Roberts is Oro Roberts. See? But you've got to understand, your position as a wife is support. Helpmate means you support and use your weapon of influence to glorify Jesus. To promote the gospel of Jesus Christ. To support your husband's office. God will reward you tremendously for that. But today you've got, you've got men who are called, but their wives are not. So I tell you young people who are not married, before you find your wife, find your call. And then find your wife who fits the call. Not the other way around. If you find a wife and then you're called, the wife may not fit the call. Make sure you find your call and then find the, the woman who can fit in your call. I'm just, I just saved your marriage. I just saved your future. Don't rush into marriage because of emotions. Don't rush into marriage because of beauty. Don't rush into marriage because she's nice to you. Don't rush into marriage because you want to get married. Before a guy buys a car, he checks the car to make sure it's the right car. They never rush buying expensive things. People make sure it's going to work and this and this and that. But into marriage, they rush blindly and end up in trouble with God and their family. Why do there's so many divorces today? Nobody thinks about the price they have to pay to marry that lady or the price she has to pay to marry him.